No, no, I see you. No, no, I know you're there. I don't like how that is. Yeah, that's a little better. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't even know. Hi. Welcome to watch the NHL on Sportsnet presented by Bet365. I'm Steve Dangle. And don't need caffeine, but you know what? It's, well, you know. <sighs> Click like. Click subscribe. And tell all your friends. Game two went pretty well. I was pretty happy about that. But you got to have the attitude adjustment. In the same way that you got to change your mindset after getting obliterated in game one, got to change your mindset after having a great time in game two, because tonight in Tampa, Emily Arena, game three between the Leafs and Lightning, the winner of this series will take a what on earth? I mean, how can you not cheer against the Lightning after seeing that? Way open in front. Still open in front. Someone figure it out. There you go. This line is running around a little bit. Puck behind the Leafs net. Leafs have got to get things under control here. A zone exit. We'll do them well, and here they come with numbers. This is a partial three on two. Nice. Handing it off. Shot. Goal! No, I'm sorry! Open the scoring for Toronto! That's you nice! He's going to pick up a playoff point! Less than three and a half the minutes the in! Of all the Toronto contingent here in Tampa Bay have scored you know, been a in Tampa! In a row in the defense zone Let's see Tampa, what happens so here. The Leafs were totally hemmed in. It was starting to look like a problem. No Nyes is the one who forces the turnover and reads the breakout. Achari picks his spot on the quote unquote best goaltender in the National Hockey League. It might have rode up a stick there. Let's we'll see on this angle. I don't think so. I think that goes straight over Cole Stick and right behind Andre Vasilevsky. And the Leafs have a goal before Tampa has a shot in their ball. Leafs dump it, no ice. Kerfoot tries to wheel it around the boards. He does, but Johnny can't get to it. He finishes his hit. On Hedman, the number one and two and overall Hedman. picks from 2009, colliding. Here comes Tampa. They got a wide open oh, shot yeah. and they bury it. Anthony Sorelli gets away from the Leafs defenders, and we got a hot start here in Tampa. Less than five minutes in, all those people wearing shorts. How dare you! We have a tied game a in Tampa. Today. The Lightning scoring punch. on their first shot. What happens the here? Leafs stood up at their blue line. The There's two guys back and no forward there to support them. Luke Shen kind of caught in no man's land, tries to pick off the pass. Oh, Willie almost gets there in time, but almost isn't enough. And the former captain of the Oshawa Generals, one of two in this series, ties it up. If you're asking yourself who the other one is, how dare you? Tavares, Lafferty battling for his life. A break! Puck hit the official in the corner. Matthews out there with the puck. Oh! Blocker save from Vasilevsky. Now Derek Radish. Use that away. bum, Austin. It worked. Center, Shen shot. shot. Oh, Shen, Shen scores. I'm losing Back it. Top, Anyone scores, I'm losing it. And I'm going to lose it. Mix, let's go. All of a sudden, the Leafs are this team that scores from the distance. Is that deflected? Who cares? It's in the back of the net now. And with 8.50 to go in the first period, I'll watch the NHL on Sportsnet with Steve Dangle, presented by Bet365. It is 2-1 Leafs. I think Matthews did tip it. Marner just spins and fires the thing. And Matthews, what a gritty goal. Battling through the defense. Was that Darren Radish? Oh, Corey Perry on the ice, too. I love it. Oh, perfect. 
Under a minute to go in the period. Oh, puck deflected wide. Five seconds to go in this power play. It's going to be a shot from Ross Colton. Looking for a deflection. He doesn't find a friendly one. Penalty's been killed. The Leafs need to get the puck out, though. Tampa dangling. Corey Perry down low. He's got Brandon Hagel, who's got a wide open net. He doesn't get the shot that he wants. And Samsonov is on top of it. Oh, and the Lightning are celebrating. Was it in the net? You can see the a lot of confusion going on as Michael Amadio just no ended it in double overtime. Like the whistle it got here for the Winnipeg uh, no, sorry, for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. There's a lot going on in my head, and they're reviewing it right now. Are they reviewing that it went in? Great play by Brody to get his ball. You can just see the bottom of his stick actually makes the stop of the puck as he turns Yeah, I mean, there. the Leafs are basically hoping for a whistle here. So that gives Samson off some trouble. And then without being touched... Because, I mean, through. that's a goal. It's a goal. The Lightning... Uh, Nick Paul does push Samsonov across the line, but it's after the puck is in the net. So we got a goal. 2-2 with 30 seconds to go in the first. Nobody said it would be easy. The Leafs kill off the penalty. But the Lightning feed on the echoes of it. Matthews tries a cheeky little wraparound. Does his best to keep the puck alive. But here come the Lightning two on two. Hagel stops for, oh boy. Oh, the Lightning fooled the Leafs bad there. Big block there from Ryan O'Reilly who turns it up the other way. Gosh, he's been worth every penny so far. But the Lightning sprung on a breakaway. Tanner Janot stopped by Ilya Samsonov. What a save. It's almost like sammy has he's got his AirPods in or something. He's listening. And he said, shut up, Steve. I'm just fine. And to that, I have to say, yes, sir. My apologies, sir. He gets the exit, but he's picked off. And Janot's still out there. Goodness gracious. Rebound. I gotta say, it's 2 2, but the Lightning have been the better team tonight so far. There's time for that to change. Uh, like now, for example. The Lightning put it on. There's a rebound. It's baked into the plan. Oh! Sammy! What a stop! Oh, man! Oh, I've never been was out there more relieved to be an idiot. For Vasilevsky, both of them for Samsonov. But here, All you want is a goalie who's going to give you a chance to win. You can't win the game for him. He's not allowed. Goalies rarely score in a tied game, if you know what I mean. Samsonov 8-7-2 on the road this year. He's giving the Leafs a chance to win right now. They got to repay the favor for David Camp, who... Oh, no. He was in Justin Hall's spot. And another turnover. This can't keep happening. The more Tampa has the puck, the more they can put it on net, the more they can just hold on to it while you chase them, the more they can draw calls, the more power plays they get, the more power play opportunities they have. Alex kept alive by Kerfoot here. It's the puck. Use it. It's your friend. Like, look. See how William Nylander's using the puck? It's his friend. Oh, see? It's complicated. Maybe they're not the best of friends. Whoa! Oh, Kerfoot almost takes advantage of a very fortunate bounce. Did you see how I resisted the urge to use the word fortuitous? Marner taken down. They're not going to call that. Mitch, stop complaining. Get up, get up, get up. Braden Point, Braden Point. he's been dancing tonight. Victor Hedman! Blocked by Riley, who stung. He does not look comfortable right now. I think he's trying to get off the ice, but he has to stay out there and defend. Oh, Braden Point wanted to shoot that. Leafs can't clear the zone. Very close, very close. The lightning smell blood. Where is it? Goes up high. Hedman's on it again. His presence has been felt. So far tonight, it is blocks the pass. The Riley is hopefully comes. recovered from that Here's stinger. That Big high. shot, way up Blast high. Way Lightning missing the net by uh, a mile on a few Indeed, occasions tonight. Shen shanks it up the boards to no one. No one's there. Ah! 
Wide open net. Hedman wide. Another nightmare shift. The Lightning have generated a few of these. Yarncroke. Oh, he gets a stick on it. And temporarily throws the Lightning off. Just cover it. And the Leafs clear it out. Uh-oh. Oh, big block. Top line has to come up big here. Stop from Samsonov. He's been... Most important player on the ice here in the second period. Yarn Crow causes just enough havoc to get the puck over the line. Shots 21 to 13 for Tampa. That's just shots on goal. Shot attempts. I got to imagine. Uh, I got to imagine it's bananas. Oh, good play by Riley. See the Leafs? They're chipping it out a lot, and there's nothing wrong with that. If it's like the third period and you have the lead. We're barely, we're not even halfway through regulation here. And it feels like the Leafs are in survival mode. You're not going to win that way. you got to attack like Ryan O'Reilly is right now. Going after it! Oh! That would have been one of the goals of the playoffs so far. O'Reilly one on four and it almost works. How better than okay. just giving a pass to God, yourself? This guy. Gets cut off by Hedman and forced here. It's to too early for this board, conversation, inside, but Bogosian please resign, Ryan. Please resign. For like league men. Can you can you do that? Can you do that for me? Eight years league men. Can you do that? Woo! Watch the NHL on Sportsnet with Steve Dangle. Presented by Bet365. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. The Lightning are doing the right things. And now it's Tavares and Willie out there with Matthew Nyes. I think because of the uh, partial line change there. This is a tough situation for the Leafs right now. And the Lightning win it back. Not great, Bob. Hit, hit from McCabe, doesn't do anything. Shot from the Lightning and they score. You can only play with fire for so long. This goal really did feel inevitable and Darren Radish puts the Lightning up 3-2 with 6.25 to go in the second. First career playoff goal. Icing after icing after icing. And generally, the Leafs have been getting away with it. And here, Matthew with a face-off win or just having the just right personnel out there. With all due respect to Tavares, Willie, and Nyes, that's middle, just not who you're putting out there for a D-zone draw. The Lightning make them pay. With Cernak out of the lineup, Radish becomes so much more important. And now the Leafs, trailing for the first time in this game, have to do what they have struggled so hard to do since scoring their second goal, and that's generate offense. To give you an idea of how dire things are offensively, since the last time I talked about how many shots the Leafs have, they've taken one away. James Anderson, can we petition the NHL to get different colors for Tampa? Yeah, man, like, bless the Sportsnet bug. I don't know if you notice it up in the corner, uh, but the Leafs and Lightning have slightly different colors. Sam Lafferty is in the box, and I think it's for how hard he took down Tanner Janot there. So with 4.50 to go in the second, the Leafs give the Lightning another power play tell you what man it's the biggest kill of the game since the last one why is the face off out of outside of the zone that's interesting TJ Brody sends it all the way down the ice the Leafs have had a horrible time generating offense, and I mean, the penalty kill is not exactly an ideal way to do it. So what do you do? You focus on the penalty kill ahead of you, you do your absolute best, you try to build momentum off that, build confidence off of that. Oh no! I'm pretty sure the Leafs just scored on themselves. What just happened? I think the referee 
Was it in Sammy's glove? What on earth just happened? I can't hear the feed. If you guys have any idea what just happened, let me know. TJ Brody yeets the thing. Oh, and it goes off Braden Point. No. I think that puck was covered. Yeah, I don't think that's a loose puck. They're going to review it. You can hear the whistle clearly went before on the broadcast. I don't think... This is different from... Was it the Lightning's first goal or the second goal? TJ, you got to be more careful than that, bud. Clearly, whistle sounds and then point... The rare stickless celly. You don't see a ton of those. You can see the late reaction of Samsonov, and it's right in between the pads, and it's the second target. Yeah, That's not a loose puck. I no way. No way. Scenario, unless we're way off. Yeah, you can hear the whistle well before no. that one was poked in the second time. So they're going to center ice. Upon better review, the puck was covered. Therefore, there is no goal. No goal. The Leafs catch a break. Is that the break that they needed? Yeah, that face is just about right, Sheldon. Things are not going great. Final minute of the second period. Incoming now. Braden Point streaking in. You think he's mad about what just happened? He had a goal taken away and then got sent to the box? He'll be determined. Oh, boy! Wow! Almost a giveaway right in the slot. Leafs break it out. Yarn Pro gets it deep. Over 40 seconds to go. Nice. Holds it for O'Reilly. Oh, and the Lightning just take it back. They really have been exemplary. Kicking the Leafs apart methodically and waiting for their moments. Ever since it was 2-1 Toronto in the first period, it has been survive and not thrive. And as a result, the Lightning are up 3-2. But here comes Matthew Knights! Oh! With a chance for his first career NHL goal, forcing Vasilevsky to make a big save. And with 15 seconds to go here in the second period, maybe the Leafs can get a late one. The Lightning are picking them apart. And I suppose the best news I can offer you ahead of the third period is it would be tough to be worse than that. And the Leafs still only gave up one goal. But it's what's put them down. If the game ends with this score, it will not be a great outcome for the Leafs. Blistering analysis, I know. Let's do a couple questions and then we'll get to your intermission entertainment. Uh, Jam Crew, where's the muffins and or cookies? Uh, my wife has not made any. We were at a kid's birthday party earlier today and I think she saw me crush a lot of pizza and she was like, that dude doesn't need cookies. I mean, this is, this is a huge, huge period for Sheldon Keith. Oh boy, two on one here for the Lightning. Broken up by TJ Brody, who does that so well. With a nice pink and Nolachari can't quite get around Victor Hedman. Oh boy, and Hedman just takes it cleanly. On the wow. Challenging Janot, who moves the puck and this is a purpose. huge period for Sheldon Keith. Because we can look at it and go, oh, the Leafs weren't O'Reilly. as good in the second period. The Lightning were really O'Reilly good. Well, what do we really mean? O'Reilly. Systemically, the, the Lightning were amazing on home ice. The Leafs were off. Oh, Kerfa drilled. I think John Cooper fed Sheldon Keefe his lunch in the second period, and that can't happen again. Kerfoot, ah, tries to sling it on, blocked. Oh, what a pass! How does that even almost find Braden Point? Stamkos with it, hands it off! Blocked. Mikhail Sergachev pinching up. Here comes the lightning again. Oh, boy. Fans screaming for a penalty. I don't see an arm up to you. That suits me just fine. Because if there was one, it would have gone against the Leafs. It's the third period of a playoff game in a tied series. 
Believe it or not, that's to the Leafs' advantage because they're the ones who have been taking all the penalties. Just set the team up for success. Oh boy, turnover! But the Leafs able to work it ahead, and here comes Camp with Aston Reese. Camp up the other way. He's got room for a shot, not a great one. Ricochet off the inboard. Perry breaking it out. Perry back, idling, knowing that the just change gets is deep. underway. Sammy slows it down for Justin Hall. If you're a goaltender, Justin Hall. help out your teammates, as I always say. They're the team pressing. Let's Great move from Nylander. Back to the, line. Justin back to the point. The oh, wide open shot! Block! Re really, really good in game two. Matthews, I don't know what the numbers were. It just felt like he won face-offs in pretty key moments. Bang! Oh, Matthews, how did the puck just found him? The lightning jumping into the corner. Whoa! Oh! Head mid. Whoa, whoa! Braden Point. Oh, no. I think he's hurt. Kucherov went straight after Riley. Braden Point is hurt. That was a gruesome fall into the boards. Doesn't mean he did anything dirty. You stick up for your guy, right? Oh, and they're getting their shots on Matthews. Is Matthews? Matthews is dropping the gloves. Stamkos and Matthews. Are you kidding? You talk about a slow brew. Just a lot of wrestling, a lot of talking, and finally... You know, it's funny, we were talking, I was talking about this with a friend earlier today. Matthews and how he doesn't fight. I mean, the dude's got, like, a surgically repaired wrist, at least one of them. He's a huge dude. And I do think he can do some damage, but do you really want this guy fighting? Sergeyev and Shen getting after it. Well, this is a bloody mess. And now the Leafs are down oh riley with the bloody nose the leafs are down two of their top three centers their top defenseman's going to go off for prepare uh, repairs he's probably got a broken nose well here's the initial play as they get tied up on each other oh man i think that's just a battle that went wrong man this might not be the worst thing for the leafs that the lightning are so beside themselves right now but it's not going to do them any good if it sends the lightning to the power play. Man, forget me. I want to hear. <laughs> I want to hear that conversation. Don't worry about me. This isn't even the longest pause I've had to deal with on these streams. I think that was John Cooper probably getting a report there. So what do we got? A five minute for boarding. It did not look like there was What was just announced? Are they reviewing Riley for five? Now they're saying a five minute boarding penalty to be reviewed here. Yeah, and I think the reason for doing that we haven't is heard yet. They talk to each other, they're not quite sure. You make Oh forget how red Kutrov is, so Kyle's losing his mind. It. Riley's off. He had a bloody nose. I don't know how he got it exactly. I'm sure it was the myriad of fists. That's the, you go back to, as he said, game seven. It, it's good to run it in full speed just how quickly it happens. There's Oof. a mismatch there. You can see Riley got up. I mean, the head and the neck and the shoulder and everything go and into the boards, but look look how point bends. Look how his upper body bends. On the numbers there, oh! I don't think there's any question that it's a five Man! So what do we got? No penalty on the play. Wow, wow, wow. The Lightning are not going to like that. John Tavares and Corey Perry talking it out with the officials. Trying to get an explanation of everything that just happened. I mean, Matthews is just chilling. Stamkos grabs him. Takes both his gloves off. Starts punching. Like... I understand being mad, but like, if there's no penalty on the play, how do the Leafs not have a power play right now? Stamkos, sort of the catalyst to spark that one again. And are they about to? Morgan Riley, coming back. Keith wants a five on three. Good luck with that, Sheldon. Can you imagine? You imagine the Leafs tie it up 
after well, Tampa's top center is taken out. Confused me because if it's five, it can be brought down to two. I, I don't know if you could say no penalty. He did. Riley, he said, so he five minutes for getting hockey. mauled, I guess. And we haven't played hockey for about ten minutes of real time. So it is a leap. And the Leafs play. power play is, is on the ice. Tavares, Nylander, Yarncroak, Marner, and Giordano. Nylander! Stopped by the blocker of Vasilevsky. Under a minute to go in this Leafs power play. What does the second unit look like if Matthews, O'Reilly, and Riley are all in the box? I imagine they send out Brody at the point. Yep, there he is. Who's that, Nice. No, it's Jake McCabe. What? Oh, how's that not a trip? How's that not a trip? Brutal. Seven minutes gone, third period. Penalty done. The Lightning back at full strength. Radish was. NHL refs the are there to call the game, not the rules. And there's a difference, unfortunately. Juno going at it with Matthew Nyes. If you call that, I'm going to lose my mind. The Leafs need a goal. Two goals on 17 shots against Andre Vasilevsky is a godsend. It is an absolute gift. You gotta put shots on this guy to get a goal. This isn't some weak need jittery AHL call-up. This is arguably the best goalie in the world. You've got to try this guy. And I tell you what, you can't get down two. Not in the third. Go and get this puck, Willie! Oh, almost had the break there. Wouldn't that have been something? Five minutes to go. Here comes Ryan O'Reilly, another guy who was trapped in the box forever. Tavares feeds the point. Brody to Nylander. Willie! Oh! Body's flying in front of the net. Oh, Jake McCabe loses the handle. O'Reilly tries to slow it down. On, 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 on. Oh, good play by Willie. O'Reilly overskates it. Point. I cannot believe he's still in this game. Leafs. They've had the Lightning hemmed in, but nothing dangerous. Ah, and then the Lightning clear it. Four and a half to go as the puck rolls into the corner, and it's an icing call. What a break for the Lightning. Barely an icing call. Three straight Stanley Cup finals taken into the boards gruesomely, and he's still out there, still effective. How do you not j just have nothing but respect for the guy? Oh, weird bounce off the boards. Shot from Matthews, stopped by Vasilevsky. Matthews. Tries to create the turnover. The Lightning yep. try to get out of their own zone. And they do. Oh, the Leafs are getting closer, but will they run out of time? Matthew Nyes trying to gain the zone. Batted down. Keep your eyes on Samsonov. Under four minutes to go. The Leafs net is empty. Nyes out there with the big guys. Get it, kid! Oh, puck goes wide. Back to the line it goes, Riley. Riley holds it at the point. He's so good at that. Winnipeg tied it late. Leafs trying to do Minute the same. Minute 11. Nylander holds. Marner. Power play formation. Mitch and Willie. Willie on. Rebound. Lee. Scores. Scores. Ryan O'Reilly ties it. Ryan O'Reilly ties it. A minute remaining in the third. Maple Leafs square. Bedlam. And Tampa shows a crack in the Ryan armor. Six on five. And the Leafs with pinpoint the position find the their target. The factor in St. Louis brought here right on Let's the see what happened. Vasilevsky trying to be in a position to get take Willie away throws it on. There's a rebound for O'Reilly. And that just and beats Vasilevsky. They ain't gonna review this. Play by Nylander. The passing lane was taken away. There's the rebound, and where does this go? Oh, that is line. why you go out and get a player like Ryan O'Reilly, who has won playoff MVP. Oh my goodness! All kinds of pressure, exhaustion on both sides. I think I busted. Yeah, I busted my chair. <laughs> I fixed it. It's fine. Justin Hall, keep up, keep up. Kalorn stops up. There's no time. 
Oh, gee, heroic block at the end there from Ryan O'Reilly, who gets right up like the man, man he is. Let's go. Gets the game tied up. The other in the dying second. Free hockey, baby. But Hedman was walking into a one-timer. Good job of seeing that Hedman was trailing the play instead of getting puck fixated. He makes the play defensively Ryan. to send us. Bleep, the bleep, frame. bleep, 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 O'Reilly. Tying goal with a He's minute to go. From Shot block in the final seconds, and, and we are going to overtime, over Ryan. We'll go to overtime. In Tampa. Game For the three. second straight game, we're going to overtime in, uh, in Amelie Arena. Oh, dear. <laughs> so they told me I can go as long as I want. Um, do we have any intermission content that we can show so that I can go to the bathroom? I can hold it. I'm a big boy. Uh, from Vincent. How would you react to an all-Canadian Cup final? Um, die and then come back to life and watch it stressfully. I think a Leafs-Oilers series might legitimately tear the country apart. <laughs> <laughs> like I think like provinces are gonna secede and cities are gonna all of a sudden like Tor Toronto will belong to Manitoba and like Pickering will go to Saskatchewan for some reason. I don't know. Singing man from Canada. Is it better for the Leafs to be playing behind in a series or is it better to be losing and get into comeback mode and get the choke done <laughs> and over with? Man. The last few years of playoff hockey have broken our brains. Have the lead. Always have the lead. It's better. Watch the NHL on Sportsnet with Steve Dangle presented by Bet365. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like. Click subscribe. Tell all your friends. All of them. All of them. That we got overtime, folks. To John Tavares. Alex Kerfoot goes into the corner, tries to get it himself. Vasilevsky reads that. That was a good play by Vasilevsky. Kerfoot tries to find Nylander, who was knocked to the ice long before the puck got there. Two minutes into overtime now. Tampa's new look third line, banging, crashing. Nick Paul in there. He scored both goals that ended the Leaf season last year. Don't want him to get the one that ends this game. Unless he scores on his own net, which is cool. Oh, boy. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart! He had two sticks in his hand, had to drop them both. Part of the battles that come with... Watch the NHL on Sportsnet with Steve Dangle, presented by Bet365. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. A little over three and a half minutes gone. Ryan O'Reilly on the draw. That's pretty good news. Scrambled, and the Lightning come up with it. Nice. Chases it down. O'Reilly tries to get it to him. Doesn't work. Victor Hedman, he was a game-time decision, and he's been a gamer all night. John Cooper has done an exemplary job putting Hedman in a position to succeed. Nice. Going after it. He's gone from, like, kid you need to protect to focal point. On. Stop. Uh, from the production booth, Stamkos Matthews, that fight was the first ever fight between two 60 goal scorers. Braden Point. Oh, trying to spin off a of Luke Shen. Cannot believe Braden Point is still in this game. And he almost sets up the winner. Deflected wide. Here's Braden Point on his backhand. Stop by Samsonov and we'll get a face off. An extended shift that actually started in the D zone with point, a good defensive play, and then just keeping the puck alive. There's another example of Kucherov, just no look right off 
the boards, controls it, and trapped to his backhand. It, oh boy, Luke that almost so fooled at the end of the shift, Samsonov. Right? It glanced off of Luke Shen's bum. Traffic in front, tried to get it there to and he a rebound, oh, oh, just Samsonov squeezes it on the blocker roll. arm. In Camp. deep for David Camp. Lafferty taken down. He gets right back up to try to cut off the pass. Whoa! Big hit from Aston Reese on Pierre Edward Belmar. Leafs hold the zone. Lafferty taken down. No call. Almost a three on two for Tampa. Here comes Patty Maroon. Shadowed by TJ Brody, who again cleans him out. Bodies flying everywhere. Two on two. Here comes Camp. Here's David Camp swinging wide. That's Tavares in front of the net. Knocked down. Sure. Justin Hall, you got to get rid of that, bud. David Camp trying to chase down Nick Paul. This is partial two on one. The Lightning driving the net. It's Samsonov with the stop. Gets knocked off behind him. And he's down. Boy, there hasn't been too many times where you've seen the end-to-end -end track meet. But how is he? In overtime. Let's see how he Collapse gets up. To the front of the net. Turn the puck over in the defensive zone. And it's the speed to the outside by Paul. Camp, a little late in his shift, did not have the juice to be in that foot race. And that momentum just slid right through. And Sammy with a toe with save off, but his stick did get in the way that kept this that game alive. To be an easy tap in for Colt. Is he going to be able to stay in the game? Is that a Red Wings jersey? It, you all saw that, right? With this top line that Tampa has that is somehow still together. Whoa! 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 Oh my gosh. And now we will get an in-building timeout. Here we are, more than halfway through the first overtime. The Leafs are a shot no away here. Point on this draw in the leap zone with Stamkos, Kucherov, Sergachev, and Radish. And Face David off. Camp David Camp with the, the clean Leafs. win. But Justin Radish Hall's got to get rid of that thing in a hurry. Oh, very fortunate bounce for the Leafs as they center. get it out. Camp. Fourth line D zone draw there. But Keith not afraid to use his fourth line there. I mean, David Camp was a shutdown guy until they got O'Reilly. That almost ended the game, and I pretended to not die. Watch the NHL on Sportsnet with Steve Dangle. Presented by Bet365. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, tell all your friends. And click subscribe. Kutrov knocks Camp to the ice. Ah, it's between your legs. Oh, nice. With William Tavares. Oh, Achari almost creates something there. Jake McCabe. Ooh. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Around, around, around. Ah. Lightning with it at the point. Working it around. Braden points far out. Lightning. Chaos in front. Leafs don't allow a shot to get through. Shadowing Braden point. Oh my goodness. Chaos. A glove. Someone's glove. I don't even know whose it is. Uh, it was a lightning player. I didn't see who it was going to the corner. Shot. Wide. Achari's got to chase after it. We got some tired legs on the ice. This is not good. Shot. Blocked. Cleared. And out of the zone. The Leafs are getting things that they have not gotten in years previous. Come up with a win here, boys. You need it. Willie! Tries to one-hand it. It goes wide. Oh, good play from Brody. Finds Matthew Nyes. Up the ice. No ice. And there he is again. Make yourself a legend, kid. Giordano doesn't know where the puck is. There he is. Gio, where's the puck? I don't know. I just got here. About 90 seconds available here in the first overtime period. Mitch Marner. Marner Stymied at the blue line. In. Drives in himself! Something from nothing! He still has it! He's got traffic in front! Did that hit the bar? A reminder, a statistical thing that has always bugged me, a shot off the post is not a shot! And they score! The Leafs score! They win it in overtime! That one's a shot!
smirk all you want, buddy. The Leafs have two, the Lightning have one. One's bigger than the other. Let's go. What even happened there? In the final minute of the first overtime. With the biggest the Leafs, last minute goal of a period who were so down 3-2 uh, in the second, 3-2 in the third, 3-2 the with a minute remaining. Ryan O'Reilly ties it and right Riley from the point no finishes it the on and I don't think that touches a thing. Morgan we need to see another angle. O'Reilly off the face off to the Riley. He Hilarious, the by the way. Riley with, Riley with one of the and weirdest the tape jobs the in the league. So I don't think that touches a thing. That one up and over. Here's what he's it's not even through the a weird tape job. It's just boring and, and suggests that he's like a cantankerous dad. And Ilya Samsonov clearly not playing at 100%. Performance has made in some incredible saves in this game. He is the least first star of the night if I had a vote. Jason Spence is fired up. Kyle Doom is fired up. The other dude is Brandon Brittam, by the way. O'Reilly to tie it. Riley to win it. Get it? Got it? Good. The Leafs have a 2 1 series lead over the Tampa Bay Lightning. Taking a game from the Tampa Bay Lightning in their own barn. Taking home ice advantage back in this series. Let's absolutely go here on Watch the NHL on Sportsnet with Steve Dangle. Presented by Bet365. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends that the Leafs have a 2-1 series lead. Is the chair comfortable, you asked? Yes, it absolutely is. It's the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in at this very moment. <sighs> the reason I pause on that moment, you feel great right now. It's amazing. Go out, have the time of your life. Drinking game, you you, you pick it. You ask me to pick it. it you're, you're, live your own life. You know it better than me. I'm 35. Look at my beard. It's a piece of crap. It's patchy and gray. How did I get off with, with the worst of both worlds? But listen, the Leafs had the 2-1 series lead last year. They had the 3-2 series lead last year. This series is not over. There's a term that I deeply hate and have come to begrudgingly respect, and that is that it's a long series and you never fully appreciate until you're in it we're about to head into deep water they were in this position last year they can be in an even better position after game four do the job until it's done don't study two weeks out from the exam and then float playing video games the rest of the way. When you fail the exam, no one will have any sympathy for you. You play like you did in game three. Most nights, you lose. This was a gift. This was a gift from the hockey gods. This was a gift from Ilya Samsonov. This was a gift from Ryan O'Reilly. The Leafs bent and didn't break. Bring that mantra into every game but be the more dominant team. I am fired all the way up. Yes. I just got a text from the drummer from Slipknot. No joke. Jay Weinberg. And he said, dude, unreal. It absolutely is unreal. I haven't been this fired up since I saw you guys play Budweiser stage in Toronto. Flames everywhere. My dad in his 60s rocking out next to me, Jay. Do you feel it, Jay? Do you feel it, Leafs Nation? Leafs 2, Lightning 1, Game 3, Monday. That is it for Watch the NHL on Sportsnet with Steve Dangle, presented by Bet365. I'm Steve Dangle. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked this stream. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends... Two is bigger than one, but the job is not done.